All right, gang, and welcome back to Procreate. So in this lesson, we're gonna learn how to create a grid. Now I'm gonna show you two different methods, one of which is native to Procreate. So now let's go ahead and go into brushes, and I'm in my texture brush. And the very simple way to do this, folks, is they give you what is called a grid brush. Okay, so you take your grid brush, make sure your size and your opacity is all the way up, and now just begin to paint. Now make your strokes consistent and don't pick up your pencil during this or else you get what's called double grid. See what's happening if I pick up my pencil? I'm gonna undo that, okay? So that's one way to do it. Now, why do you wanna create a grid? Because quite frankly, there's a perspective grid available. This is gonna be key when you talk about symmetry. So before we go into our symmetry lessons, I like to show you how to find the grid. Now, what I'm gonna show you here, clear that. I'm gonna show you how to adjust this grid brush. We'll talk about brush adjustments later, but this is critical for right now. Go into your grid brush, click on the source. Now, you see the source has a grain source, it's a grid. See right there where it says grain? Now click on grain, and now let's scale this bad boy up substantially, right? So, the zoom is set to follow size. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scale this bad boy. Now watch what happens now. Again, I'm keeping my pressure very consistent. This now creates a much larger grid. Oops, you see I brought my pen up and double stroked. Let's see what happened. All right, so again, I didn't follow my own advice. You see where the two strokes changed. This is how you create a grid of varying sizes, okay? So now you know how to create a grid. Depending on how big the grid you is you wanna create, you go through and adjust the scale. That's the trick to grids. And then if you wanna tone this down a bit, you come in, turn down the opacity, and now you're ready to roll with symmetry. All right, now, the second way to do this, let's go ahead and clear this layer. In your downloads for this lesson, I've included two grids that I created in Affinity Designer. So if you have a vector-based program, you can go out and you can find grids of various sizes. So how do we import a photo? We come into image, we insert a photo, and now I gave you two, right? We're on a full screen here. So you've got one for full screen and one for square. There you go, you're welcome. Now you can go through, bring this bad boy full size, now, once we deselect it, you see how it consumes the entire canvas? You're ready to go. So this is another way you can do it. So let's go ahead and I'll show you the square one. We go to gallery, we bring up a new one. This time I'm gonna bring up a square. I come over here and I size these specifically for the defaults in Procreate. And you go through and you insert a photo. And now this time, let's grab the square one. And there you go. So. These are two ways to get a grid in Procreate. You can do it organically using the layer and the grid brush. And to change the grid brush, you up the scale. Or you can insert the photo and in your downloads, I gave you two grids that specifically match Procreate. All right, folks, just trying to add a little bit of value. This is going to be key going into our symmetry lessons. All right, let's go ahead and get into it.